In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase the FPS or frame rate of your animation without having to change the keyframes and keeping the same speed. Before we start, I should mention something. So the technique that I'm uh, going to show you in this video is usually used after you have done everything, after you have finished your project, right? Before you start your project, if you're just starting your project, you don't need this video, you don't need any technique in this video. You just come here to Output Properties and set the frame rate to whatever you want and create your animation. You only need the, this technique that I'm going to show you uh, when you have already finished your project with a particular number, particular frame rate, and you want to change it after the fact, after you have finished your project. This is a problem. After you have finished your project, you can simply come here and change the frame rate and expect everything to be all right. Uh, the problem is if you increase the frame rate, your animation will speed up. It will be very fast. Or if you decrease the frame rate, the animation suddenly becomes too slowly. So you need to have a solution to that. So in this video, I'm going to show you that. So now uh, I have this simple animation. It's very simple, as you can see. And it is 24 FPS here in output settings is 24 FPS. And now I want to increase the frame rate FPS and I want this animation to be more smooth. Uh, I mean, smoother, right? So how do we do this? Well, simply increase the frame rate to, for example, 60 and let's play. Now it's much smoother, as you can see, but at the same time, it's much quicker. I don't want this speed. I want the old speed, but much higher frame rate. So how do I do that? So let's go back to 24 and quickly tell you what's going on here. So it's 24 FPS, which means 24 frames per second. So this entire animation is 100 frames. So it's about four seconds. But when it is 60 FPS, now we have 60 frames per second. It's not even two seconds. It was four second before, but now it's two second, uh, a, bit, a bit less than two seconds, right? So I want it to be four seconds and much higher frame rate. So the thing is, I come here to increase the frame rate to 60, right? But this is not all. I should go to time stretching and write the old frame rate to old and new frame rate to new. And now I have the same speed but higher frame rate. But now I have another problem, which is uh, my animation is not full. So I'm stopping at 100 frames. I need to look at this timestamp and move this. This is the new frame rate in seconds and move it until this finishes. So this is this indicates this line indicates the finish or the animation where the animation is. But this one indicates the frame, how many frames I need to about 250 I can stop animation so I, I will just change the frame rate to 250 as you can see here and now I can simply render this now I have the same speed but much higher frame rate as you can see and you you, you don't have to eyeball it like that you can just uh, calculate it I will show you one simple calculator so we will use this proportional calculator. So the old number, which is A here, is 24. The new number, which is B, is 60. And C is 100, which is the old time range. And this is new time range or frame, frame range. It's 250. So we need to have 250 frames. So you will input old FPS here, new FPS here, old frame range here, and you will have the new frame range here. So it's 250 and uh, it works for other things too, for other frames. For example, let's say 50 frames per second. Now I need to change a few things here. I will change this to 250. And now if I go like that, it's a bit longer animation, right? I need to decrease this too. So let's check with the calculator. Instead of 60, I will write 50 and it's about two, uh, 208. It's not always a whole number, so 209 frames. One extra frame doesn't hurt. So you can calculate it like that.